Hi, I'm Dana Riley, Executive Director of Volunteer McKinney, and I'm here to tell you about an initiative that was started a few months ago by some concerned community leaders and myself. Recently, McKinney was awarded the top 100 best places to live for youth. And although that's awesome and we're very proud to have received that award, we know for sure that not all kids in McKinney are having success in their day-to-day -day lives. And so we want to take this opportunity to talk to you about the issues that kids are dealing with here in McKinney. Some of them are homelessness, hunger, drug and alcohol abuse, criminal activity, mental illness, depression, and some are victims of abuse, neglect, or sexual exploitation. Let's hear from a few local teens about their lives. I was raised by my mother and my father, but my mother was constantly in and out of her role as a mother. My mother has a baffling addiction and you know, at times I'd always question myself whether or not her main issue was the drugs or her children. And so I, I finally concluded that it was indeed the drugs that she had cared about. I, uh, I got involved with drugs at a very early age, around 9, 10 years old. Um, and, you know, it started off with uh, just uh, smoking with uh, some people, you know, just. Um, Started off with marijuana, and then it it, it, it escalated into uh, to uh, other harder drugs like opiates, um, heroin, uh, cocaine. Um, my dad passed away when I was 13 from a drug overdose, and I I guess I just um, kind of lost control there for a little bit. I didn't really know how to handle it, and I turned to um, drugs and alcohol. Well. I actually started when I was 15, just went over to my friend's house, kind of like a casual visit, and he offered me some weed, and I was interested, and that was my first time trying weed. That continued for a couple of months, just on the weekends, and then it progressed to more casual use, day to day, and then I started getting caught and started using other things that didn't show up on drug tests. Well, I'm from Dallas, Texas, and uh me and my brothers and my mom, we moved around a lot through my life and uh, my freshman year of high school, I kind of found myself through trouble and just not following the right path. Uh, well, my mom, one of my mom's friends told us about this place and how it can help us uh, get into our own home because before we were living in hotels, after hotel, uh, going to school from there. I, I am pretty good at singing, I suppose. Um, I, I was in a choir group and um, I was ranked one of the highest sopranos out of my choir. Now I want to be able to give back and show that drugs weren't helpful, you know. It didn't get me what I wanted. It didn't get me to a good place, you know. And I want to be able to show that if you're like me, you can't keep going with using drugs. Now I'm more interested in science. I'm planning on becoming an anesthesiologist and I'm taking some science classes right now and I mean I'm just really interested in the science. I am really good at pottery. I love it. it I love sculpting and throwing clay. Um, it's just very freeing for me I guess. Um, I really enjoy writing a lot. It's, um, I don't know, it gives me the same kind of feeling when I'm finished um, creating something. In my free time, I like to learn how to play the piano. I just like the tone and the sound of it. That'll be something I like to do. Well, I like to play basketball, and I say my favorite subject is English. I was pretty good at that, and uh, so I like to write also. In an effort to assist with the struggles that McKinney teens face, we are convening a meeting of concerned citizens. We're going to include community leaders, parents, groups, businesses, churches, and nonprofits on Friday, April 19th, 2013. We'll meet to learn more about those struggles and come up with concrete ways we can all help. If you want to learn more about this urgent topic and how you can get involved, please register today. With all of us working together, we can truly make McKinney a better place for all young people.